Well, uh, hello there, internet world, and welcome to a Mr. T vlog for the Mortal Mike and Friends channel over on YouTube. Why did I say it over on YouTube? Because you'll be watching this on YouTube, so there was no need for it. Anyway, Glenn Murray, yes, Glenn Murray, one of my favourites, has released another distillery edition and it is only available at the distillery folks if you go and visit another distillery edition similar to this which was the sherry cask finish the 2010 one but this one is just slightly younger it's eight years old it has spent well let's tell you what it is it's a peated Pedro Jimenez finished whiskey. It spent four years in an ex bourbon bottle and it also spent four years in a PX cask. It sits at 55.8% and whereas this one cost about £125 at the time, the peated PX is available for a very, very good price of £85. Once again folks you will only find that at the distillery. Natural colour, unchill filtered. This is what you'll find on these bottles. Now the core range is chill filled and does have some colour in it for consistency. These ones, as far as I'm aware and as far as I've been told, uh, unchill filtered natural colour ideal fairly young whiskey again as I said four years in each bourbon and four years in a PX cask so 28 year old but don't let that knock you a really nice colour on that you can tell it's spent time in a in a sherry barrel but cask whatever you want to call it it's a lovely deep toffee colour You've got peat, you've got sherry. That is nice. And this isn't from being in casks that have already had, you know, peated whiskey. And this is just purely peated malt that Graham and the guys have up there at Glen Murray have put through. And yeah. A little bit of smoke, not too much, just a nice gentle hint of smoke. Dried fruits, candied peel, plums. Slight bit of vanilla, but way, way, way back. The, the, the dominant in that is the dried fruits, so, you, so you've got your your dried fruits that you were Christmas cakey, as we say. We've got really ripe plums, but it is a really nice smell to it. It's not complicated, it's not doing so much to you that you think, oh no, I don't know what this is. Oh, I could sit and smell that for ages, but we can't because we've got to keep these short. Slanch. By heck, love. There's a bit of tannin in there, not too much. Nearly done a mic before, by the way, and uh, it missed my mouth. How he managed to miss a mouth that big, I don't know. Getting a little bit of that peat smoke, not too much, just a little bit. Secondly, dried fruits, big style. You're getting your raisins, sultanas, currants, Bit of dried peel, a slight bit of cinnamon, a bit of clove. It's another taste. Again, a couple of sips. First one, you know, to open up and liven your palate, and then you know, the second, third one, just a. That was really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Tannins are definitely there, you're definitely getting your, your ripe plums, your Christmas cake fruits, and your currants, your raisins, your sultanas, your peel. 
yeah, milky, milky coffee. You've got that type of coffee smell to it, but it's got a creamy taste to it as well. Even though it's 55.8 percent, it's not burning. It's smooth. It can afford a bit of water. This, I, you know, you maybe want to bring it down mid to late mid forties. It's just kind of softened the smoke a little bit, but opened up the nose. A bit of toffee. Chocolatey coffee mocha, would that be? No, don't get me wrong, I do like my sherry whiskies and I do like my heavily sherry whiskies. As in, heavily sherry. But I have of late found, because I've, I've had a couple of these over the past couple of nights. The peat really, really works well with the PX, really well. It's got a really nice balance. It's not, the peat doesn't overtake the PX and the PX doesn't overtake the, the peat, if you know what I mean. They kind of work together. There's a lovely balance. Duck. In fact, you, you can't drink, you're, you're a duck. A plastic one at that. Boy, is that drying in the mouth. Seems to me the water's just kind of, oh, hello, lightened it up. And even though I've put water in there, my mouth is still dry. And the finish is still hanging in there. So there you go, folks. There you have it. A brief, short review of a bottle that I do not yet have, but I have made the good lady aware that I do want one if not two bottles of this one to drink and one to keep so there you go folks the eight year old peated PX from Glen Murray a distillery only edition you can only buy it at the distillery if you've tried it think about it and let us know your thoughts if you do like it give us a thumbs up Remember and click the bell to subscribe and get the latest updates. And while you're at it, we've got Gentleman Grim, you can follow him. We've got Malt Musings, you can follow him. The Whiskey Viking, Denmark, you can follow him. Maltman Mike, I guess you're already following him. And myself, The Whiskey Reaver. We're all out there on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or all over. You know, let us know what you think of this. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. And until then, or until next time, we'll see. Cheery bye. Please click subscribe. It really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.